digital anchor Christine Barconi joining us now from the NBC4i Streaming Center. Got a look at the stories that are making headlines online this midday. It is hot, Christine. It is really, really warm out yes. there, Monica. Um, but we're going to focus on the crew right now and uh, maybe some good news, maybe some bad news for some fans, just depending on how you look at it. Starting in 2023, in Major League Soccer, including our crew SC fans, will have a new home for every single live match. Apple and MLS announced a 10-year partnership on Apple TV streaming service. Fans will be able to watch all of the games without local blackouts or restrictions. And we actually just posted a story just a few minutes ago on what this means for us here in Columbus and for the crew over on NBC4i.com if you want to take a closer look. And Central Ohio is home to an abundance of farmers markets offering locally grown produce, visual arts, clothing, and more. And trending right now on NBC4i.com is this comprehensive list of all of them. You can scroll through and find one closest to you. Most are held every weekend during the summer months, but there are some weekday ones as well if you want to take a look at the one closest to you. Also over on NBC4i.com, we're starting a three-week series called Walking Wednesdays, and we are doing it with the help of our friend Stephanie Mansour from the Today Show. Monica, you'll remember, she is the one we worked with whenever uh, a few weeks back when NBC4, specifically you, Monica, helped them kick off their Walk the Rock 30-day walking plan with Al Roker. But this week, we are talking about all three things pre-walk. Stephanie, can you show us what we need to do pre-walk to make sure we have our bodies ready uh, to head out, especially um, on these hot summer days? Yes, absolutely. So when you first begin a workout plan or before you go out for your walk, you want to do what's called dynamic stretching, Christine. So dynamic means we keep it moving. Our body isn't warmed up yet, so we don't want to hold anything for a long period of time. So we're stretching the side waist there so that we can stretch out the waist. And then we're also stretching the spine here with twisting. So you just want to keep it moving. And after you warm up that upper body for a few minutes, make sure you do the lower body as well with some butt kickers or some walking lunges. Stephanie demonstrates those in the full extended interview on NBC4i.com. And do make sure you are avoiding outdoor activity today during those peak temperatures. Stick to an early morning or an evening walk over the next few days in those bright thin sweat wicking materials, Monica. Yeah, that is great advice. And gosh, getting out and walking is so wonderful. So hopefully a lot of people will follow along and, yeah. and get involved. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to the next yeah, few weeks. Absolutely. All right, Christine, thank you. And for the latest news, weather and sports 24 seven, go to NBC4i.com. You can also stay connected on the go with free NBC4 news app. Download it today.